y'all want to know about the end of everything? So, if you like to watch the stars, watch this. That faint little white spot in the constellation of o Ophicus. Wait, you don't see it? That little constellation up in Ophicus? Well, don't worry. It's going to get bigger over time. For actually, it's a star that's coming straight at us. It's big and hot and coming right toward us. For an object that could one day smash our world to bits, the star has a pretty dull name, Galici 710. Most people probably haven't, have never heard of the thing, but that will change over time as Galici 710 gets nearer and nearer and nearer. You see, Galici 710 is rushing straight toward us at the breathtaking speed of 50,400 kilometers per hour. That's almost 50 times the speed of sound. Galici 710 is a dull red dwarf, a small dim star that only shines with 4-5% to of the sun's luminosity, while its mass is only half that of the sun. So why worry, you ask? Well, hold on. It's still a star we're talking about here, and that's not the kind of object you want to find in your backyard in the morning. Galici 10 is more than 50 times as big as the Earth, and more than 100 times as massive. Oh, and it burns! Gladly, we'll have 1.4 million years before catastrophe strikes. What's more, GI-710 is destined to pass us at about 40,000 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. What you could call a complete miss. But wait, there's something else. Most likely, the Death Star will mess up the pile of cos cosmic debris called the Oort Cloud a bit. And start throwing planet-sized chunks of rock at us for tens of thousands of years in a row. We'll have to shelter for incoming comets. Our planet could get hit, or an exploding comet could block the sun and trigger a devastating ice age, much like the ominous hypothetical space body called Nemesis is held responsible for at least 10 extinctions in our world. Gladly, there's also a possibility G710 will do nothing nasty in particular. You see, incoming stars for many light years away are always a bit hard to predict. So in the end, the Death Star may simply miss our solar system completely. Then again, of course, it could also be the other way around. Perhaps the calculations are wrong for the worst, and GI-710 smashes into our solar system directly. The dreaded thing would start gobbling up planets, or kick our poor Earth away into deep space, where we would either be incinerated, deep frozen, or if we're having a real bad day, both. That's not everything. Galicia 710 is not the only star that's headed our way. Coming in the next million years, at least eight stars will be coming closer to us than our current closest neighbor, Proxima Centauri, at 4.3 light years away. One of them, a red dwarf called Bernard Star, will arrive in only 10,000 years' time. After that, a massive twin star system called Alpha Sen A slash B will come knocking at our door. Calculations show the system is massive enough to give the Oort Cloud a good stir. Better keep those hard hats within reach, folks. And how's, how about this? There's always the remote possibility that GI-710 or one of the inhabit or one of the other incoming stars is surrounded by planets, and that some of these planets are inhabited worlds. As you as you've heard elsewhere in this video series, the chances that life is intelligent are vanishingly small. But for argument's sake, suppose it is. What would you do if it found us on the way. What would you do? As every science fiction freak can tell you, it's probably not a good idea to stand in the way of some kind of Klingon civilization. One day I'm going to die. My energy will disperse across the universe. I will become dust. I will shed this mortal coil. Everything will be over. Everyone I know will be gone. Everything I do in my life will be forgotten. Everything is meaningless. 